with the objective of achieving, broadening, and strengthening a culture of voluntary, altruistic, and habitual safe blood donation, the international program Life is in the Blood has designed three strategic components where the international marathons of voluntary blood donations can be found. Starting from the first marathon held in 2013, the program has had a greater international reach. In November 2016, the eighth marathon was simultaneously held in more than 20 countries and the result of the analysis showed that the culture of voluntary, altruistic and habitual blood donation has increased in the citizens who comprehend that the act of donating is a reflection of love for life. Every year, during June and November, thousands of activists make conscious and selfless actions to transmit to others the vision of love, kindness, and solidarity, which are found in this social intervention program that proposes a social cultural contribution with the support of public and private institutions and the implementation of the communication educational program PEC Life for the strengthening of a culture of donation. The results of the program are specifically measured in numbers, indicating that the first marathon, the effective units obtained were 14,344, while the eighth marathon collected 134,071. In other words, an increase of 834.68%. During these four years of working in blood donation, an estimated 1,104,779 of trained and conscious people participated as a result of 7,121 socializations made in participating countries. Life is in the blood. It has helped us save lives. It has gone beyond our expectations. Thank you in advance for your donation. Without allies like you, this work is a lot harder. If we consider that with each donation up to three lives are saved, meaning that at least 402,213 people have been helped, bringing peace to their families. Colombia, Spain, Venezuela, Mexico, and Ecuador have seen an increase in the usual donors because of their efforts. Peru, Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay, and the United States led the awareness drives. Bolivia, Chile, Guatemala, and Panama have increased in each marathon the number of blood drives for new donors. And the rest of Central America and the Caribbean continue to reach more cities and communities in awareness raising. In this way, Life is in the Blood continues to answer the call of the WHO to reach the average goal of at least 10 donors for every 1,000 citizens. In other words, 1% of volunteer donors in each country. I am glad we have these initiatives. It makes me happy to help others. I am a person that had cancer. I am very thankful. Help us help become a volunteer donor and save lives.